You ask me if I consider myself a poet. I answer that I think the word means less about what a person writes, and more about the way they see the world. The dictionary suggests it is a person possessing special powers of imagination or expression, and I am no superhero. Never saved anyone's life by wearing my heart on my sleeve. Wearing it all over the place, for that matter, and wearing it out. My comparisons may often come up short of exact, but here I go again, attempting indescribable you. I read in a Pulitzer Prize winning novel that a mother touches her belly button, the place where her spiritual umbilical cord lies, and feels that she can feel her missing child in the universe somewhere. I lie on my side in bed, 23, fertile, wasted on a once a day chemical barricade, Imagining my future children swimming through my body somewhere, waiting to be born into existence. I think of my life, all the little days spreading out before me like a fan, all the times chance has spared me, how I'm so lucky. One time, you introduced me to a stranger as a singer, without a second thought, as if I'm already everything I've always wanted to be to you. Like I'm a tied up bundle of accomplished dreams in utero, a handful of pure positive potential just unfolding on time's vertical line. Sometimes, when I can't sleep or write, I just start letters to you. And eight pages later, realize I just needed to address it to someone who loves me as blank canvas, as rolling wheat fields, as pure, unadulterated, white-lined paper. And even here and now, Riddled with writer's block like a seemingly fatal disease, I still know that I have all of the words inside me. Brewing in microscopic pieces, the concepts and ideas that will become their character traits, swimming through my bones, my saliva, my DNA. In the way that I start to feel guilty when someone is injured in a car accident, about all the times I just sped through uncontrolled intersections, I see people breaking up and realize how often I'm taking you for granted. I may just be crossword puzzles of curious confusion, well-arranged plagiarism with good intentions, but you seem to enjoy trying to figure me out. And I've never saved anyone's life by wearing my heart on my sleeve, but that's only as far as I go. And perhaps I'm not meant to see the farthest reaching effects, because it takes all of my effort just to keep myself afloat. And so I'm building these sandcastle poems. They are wary of the tide. They are piles of stones hoping to grow into lighthouses. Lego blocks posing as real buildings, but you write the world with me while we wait for our words. Thank you. Yeah.